Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll talk about the router settings. Here you see 5 different options or ways for the routing path. The dashed lines represent the middle of the routing bit. In the first design I have set my routing path on as designed. Then you see that the middle of the bit follows your design. Don't forget that your design will be smaller because the router bit has a certain thickness. Here I set my routing path on keep inner shape. Now you see that the routing bit follows the outside of your design. With keep outer shape it follows the inside. Keep inner shape is mostly the correct setting when routing a piece. For engraving, you have two different options. You have hatch fill and island fill. The first one is hatch fill. Here, the hatching will go in zigzag lines. With island fill, it will follow the shape of the design. Once you click on settings, you will see all the different options. What's really important here is that you choose the correct bit that's inserted in your router. It is important to select the correct diameter. If you change the down position offset, you will immediately see a preview. If you choose true cut, it should stay on zero. But if you choose to engrave, the down position offset will set to the half of the thickness by default. You can change the depth if required for your application. Routing path, that's the one we already discussed. These are the options that you have. If you change your routing path, you will see that the underlying properties will change. Here you can choose the maximum depth per pass. Normally, it is the same as the diameter of your bit. And if you want, you can also select a cleaning pass. The standard settings are SUMA's recommendations for the different materials. The cleaning pass is also the last pass. It is advised to use a lower speed, a small depth, for example, one millimeter. An offset can also be used to have a better finishing of the routed part. Using a cleaning path will also result in a better cleaning of the debris. When using keep inner shape or keep outer shape, you will have the auto inlay option. This is used to make two routed objects in different material or different color fit in each other. For this, sharp corners will be replaced by small curves so that the routing bit can follow the path. When selecting hatch fill, the overlap settings is how many percent you want your bit to overlap the passes. So the higher you set this option, the slower your job will finish. You can change this setting to your liking. With island fill, you will have the same options. If you have the HF router, there is an additional option. The polishing pass. This one is only available with keep inner or outer shape. If you want to work with the polishing pass, you should select a polishing bit. You can then select the offset, the cutting speed, the HF router speed and the mode for the polishing pass. When using the polishing pass, the machine will ask to change the bit prior of doing the polishing pass. Thank you for watching this tutorial and good luck.